Um, so what I have put in your books tonight, the budget hearing. So what the first page is, is that is everything condensed from all of those pages behind it is the is the budget. Those are every line item that we're working with. Um, and so and this is the condensed down version of that. So you can see that um, we've already went over the general fund information. Um, we did have some changes with the general fund. I, I had um, calculated an additional staff number in the ambulance. And so Dave and I went back over that and we, and we corrected that. And I believe is that correct, Dave, that we're that the department's agreeing with us now or where we need to be here. Oh, I think they think we're still a little bit high, but um, Lee and I got 200 hours. I think part of that they didn't get was work out of rallies and things like that. They, they were looking at people like 400 hours, 800 hours. Mm -hmm. And when we put it together, she was rather you know, half time or full time. Mm -hmm. So but I think within 200 hours, I think the number's there. And with that change, with that person coming out of bed, is I think that dropped it from like 503 down to 454 or something. Yep. Yeah. So it's about fifty thousand dollars less just for that one person. Mm -hmm. And we still and, and the other thing is is so part of the there's twenty five percent of the fire and ambulance wage that that covers uh, Sandy Henderson's janitory wages. So um, and that's one thing that I didn't mention that. So yeah. So that. and then um, the stipend is still in there and. Right now, the budget amendment or the budget hearing had to go to the paper. We were out of time. Mm -hmm. So everything is set in the budget. It, it's set to be approved. And then I'll have some notes to go over with Dave of what we'll have to do for amendments after the first of the year. Um, and just again, remember, if these are estimates. Um, we're just trying to calculate as close as we can. And I typically have a practice of going a little higher um, versus going lower. And I mean, I think most of us know with any budget to work with, I want to kind of estimate high the anticipation of. Um, I did calculate insurance and health insurance and everything based on the percentages that were provided to us for increases. Um, the health insurance was very low, um, it was under 5%. And then the tort liability, which is all of our insurance for our buildings and grounds and our vehicles. Um, the communication I had that it was going to have, I think we we're about a 15% increase, and that's out of our control. I mean, it's nothing that we've done, it's just that's market. And then, um, but the good news is, is our workmen's comp. Um, we've got some cases that are coming off of that. So we're, we'll be in a better position we're with our percentages. What's difficult with the tort liability is that those renewals come due in April, and I've got to submit a, you know, we have to submit a budget in March. So again, those are estimates, and typically, depending on if we have some different percentages, then we would have an amendment for that. Um, but I always, since I started doing the budget, I try to stay when it comes to tort liability in the 15% range to calculate it up, just trying to prepare for whatever the market is saying it's going to be. So and I think the other piece that you that, that was changed on the prior side was that they had 16,000 or on the end side it was 16,000 for the stipend mm -hmm. for the volunteers that have been running quite have been running a little bit higher. So we bought that to 20. Yeah. Um, so for the ambulance, where it says the 2021, you know, on page five, the 2021-22 budget um, miscellaneous is zero, and then in the past year, it's 21,000 and 12,000, then it jumps to 250,000. So yeah. can you explain just why? Yeah, so we, I have to build a transfer in. That 250,000 is that dollar amount that we talked about that we have to have in order to balance the budget. Okay. We just don't have a transfer in line, so that's why it's sitting in the miscellaneous slide. Okay, and is that money from the reserve that they're pulling? Yep. Yep. And so if they are, because I, from what I spoke with with Kurt and Sandy, it sounds like they're still under budget now, nowhere near to this 
and I know we're adding staff and stuff like that, but so if they were, if we were to approve this this way, and they took that out of the reserve, would it be put back? Yeah, it only gets transferred when it's necessary. When it needs to, yeah. okay, They're, perfect. It, it will work, I mean, we'll work with the money that they have and the revenue <laughs> coming in, but it's the point where the revenue is not coming in as quick as our expenses, and we'll so transfer, we'll transfer yeah. what we need to, that's kind of the last resort. Awesome, that's what I, yeah. that makes sense, yeah. yeah. We have what's called year-end transfers, mm -hmm. and so just as they were saying, we have to estimate, mm -hmm. based on what we're estimating the expenditures to be, mm -hmm. we have to estimate how we're going to cover that revenue, okay. or cover that expense. Gotcha. And so, when we only transfer mm -hmm. anything that's above mm -hmm. the revenue, and that's how it's always been transferred. It's not always following what was in the budget. It's following what the actual expenditures are, less employee benefits because we left for that. Yep. So, okay. So it's just their expenses only. Awesome. Uh, not really expenses. Exactly. Just benefits. So, um, so first I'll get started um, in the. In your book here, we have what we call the special revenues, and that is um, in special revenues is road use tax dollars and um, local option sales tax, um, tax increment finance. It's on its own, but it's, it's still a special revenue. So let me get to the here to a page so I can show you. Up in the up in the left hand corner, it will tell you. Um, for example, say general fund of public safety. So what we're wanting to look for right now is the number, it's going to say 110 road use. And I'll see if I can get the number. Because each department has a number. So if I tell you a number, it may be in, within that half of that department. So. And the number we use for road use of, is a matter of supply to us by the state. And that very they'll give us a um, <coughs> year I think it's going to be here. They give us a yeah, yeah they give us an estimate. Yeah. And it's um I think it's this year it's 226.5 times per capita. Yeah. So it just says it says one one zero then road use tax fund public works. And then it's revenues underneath. And are these in order? They are. Okay. Yeah. So we know that it's zero zero one, and then it goes zero zero two. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. And I apologize, I didn't have time to, to put stickies in here. Finance? Go Chair. No. This function. <laughs> yeah. I just have yeah. page one at the top, but it'll say one one zero yeah. right here. Yeah. I literally opened it. Page yeah. one on a web. So the page there with the revenue, that is our estimate for 22, 23. That's the estimate for road use. But um, when I was looking at the, the state report, um, they're saying that the 226.5 is less than what we should anticipate. Um, they're thinking that we're, we're going to have more in the upwards of 500,000. But I just stayed with what the per capita rate was. So if we get a little bit more, then that stays in the road use reserve to use it for future. Okay. And so, so we have 486,400. That's what we're estimating. Okay. Yep. Gotcha. And I just left it because our our per capita the year before was about the same same amount, only like fifty cents difference. So. Um, And even though it says approved, it's just that's how the report runs. So then on the next page, it's we go into the public works roadway maintenance. Um, there are two sections here for roadway maintenance. There is what's just the, the street maintenance, and then you have a section that is for fuel removal and um, 
and street cleaning. These, and the reason for this, it falls back to um, the Iowa Department of Transportation has us do what's called a, a road use report. And I know Diane had experience with that when she worked for the county. So that's, that's the reason why there's some separation here with these dollars, because when it comes to that Department of Transportation report, that's, that helps us to make sure we can put those numbers in that report. I explain that. So the first page is road maintenance, and second is snow road. Yep, snow road. Yep. And that's it. It's really all the same fund road use. It's just it's broken down by that because like you have to report it in those separate areas to the Department of Transportation. So um, first off there, you just, again, we have our wages and our benefits. And that's just in line. We have um, budgeted in there is for Adam. And I have um, Eddie Ortiz. Um, so they're the percentage that's in the roadway maintenance. And they're split between um, the street and then the main. And I just call it road maintenance portion of it on um, street cleaning and snow removal. And their wages are based on um, with the current wages, and then it's based on our wage matrix that we have. And what I do is I just calculate the highest percentage. Um, so it, this year, when they get ready to do their evaluations, you know, depending on what their wage is going to be calculated at, um, at least if I calculated at the highest possible percentage, then we're not in a position where. We're going to fall short in those wages. It doesn't necessarily mean that that's what they're going to get paid, but that's just what we're calculating it at for their evaluations. And so then in that section, we move to repairs and utilities and contractual services run in there. So the repair and the maintenance and utilities, what that is pertaining to is just just what it's saying there. Those are streets and alleys and projects that we have. Um, the purpose of road use tax dollars is to um, improve and to upgrade and fix streets in our community. And, and Adam really does a nice job. Um, I think that um, we've got his folder there. I believe, and Adam, you can speak at any time. I think mean, what we've got budgeted there for building and grounds and road. Um, I know that we've got alley work that's going to be done. We're going to do a, a seal coat or a. Yeah. I'll kind of let you guys take over from. Hey, you're doing good. Was just a <laughs> how, come, how come under repair maintenance and utilities, the utility services went from? 3300 down to 200. The utility part of it? Yeah. From 21, 22 to 22. Because 22, 22, 22, 22. I, it's under solid waste because it's really that utility is just the garage. Oh, so, okay. Mm -hmm. And so what I'm doing is I'm trying to. Separate. Divert the money over into more of the wages and the maintenance side of it. Um, and I can come back and we can amend it and we can move utilities back over, but it is their shop downtown or their shop is really what that falls under. So that'll be the same for whether it's another utility or I mean electric or mm -hmm. water. Mm -hmm. They're so it's all for our electric, water, and sewer, it's all internally charged to the fund, but we're really just paying ourselves. Yeah. It's, it's paperwork to say, yes, we're charging our departments for their utilities, but it's really coming back to the, it really stays with the city within that. But it's money from the state. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. No. The road use money is from the state, but it's tax dollars. Oh, 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 but we're charging those tax dollars for utilities that really <coughs> is going to stay with us. It's not going anywhere. The only other one would be their heat, which is their gas utility. So, and the bigger cost of that is more at the seems to me it's run from the recycle center is probably because you have a radius. Yeah, those are always running 
one can get to like yeah. 40, 50 degrees early on. And Adam's uh, working the roadway maintenance, that fund that's the 80,000, he's got that after chip sales and concrete work that he was still will do. Throughout the city, or do you have a specific area that which is out? Um, there'll be a couple spots we'll, we'll be doing. Um, Spots on 14, 15, or 14, 16th area, um, Calhoun, there's some spots on Allen. Um, that's just one thing about right around the end, but there's a handful of spots that I want to do ourselves, see how it goes. Okay. And then what about that divot in Miller? Is that include any of that? No. <laughs> oh, okay. So the um, the capital equipment purchase for that fund, I have some notes there. On um, the next page over is page four. Um, that is talking about the, the dump truck. Um, and that's also talking about um, the repairing of the surface alleyways um, of downtown. Page four? Yep. The capital thing. Oh, yeah, the and the surface there is not really a capital improvement. It's really a, it's just a roadway maintenance. Those are just the notes that I put in there. From. So that's only on the line item for capital equipment. Capital equipment is the dump truck and seven B. It's it's a, it's, it, a, it's a five fifty the one time. It's a, like a one. Yeah. What was that one? Uh, it's an F550. <laughs> council a month ago get approved. Uh, there'll be a plow with it too, with a dumb box. Okay. To replace our bus it up. Once time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 They all are. Like, I know. We yeah. wanted to go buy them because I wanted 50 of them. And I was like, well, those are going to be fine. Yeah. 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 Yeah, because in the Department of Transportation report, it's not considered a capital improvement, it's considered a roadway maintenance. But we at the city call them because of the, the amount it's called, we, we call it a capital outlay. Okay, and you just put it on your right end capital equipment. I just put the notes there. For the seven, it's actually part of the road. So the repair, maintenance, utilities. When we do the streets, like the gypsy and all that, that's under like the six three ten, six three eleven, six three twenty one. Yep, those are part of the base. Yep. That's for like uh, doing the streets and stuff. Yep. yep. Cracks and lanes. Yeah. And again, those bids and those things can change between, I mean, we've seen it where we've got a bid in for a smaller amount, but then by the time we get into the season of doing the work, it's a possibility that the material is going to go up and then we'll have to do the budget amendment because um, Adam has no control over, I mean, they base it on a price right now, but when you get into the season of doing the work, it doesn't, you know, those the supply and demand of it, of what they use for the product, they go up. Or you may be doing less work. I mean, it all comes down to Adam will do an evaluation of streets and figure out which ones, you know, are, I mean, he, he may have had streets last fall. Yeah, they change over the course of the year. So streets that he thought last fall might need to be still over this year, maybe off the list of they have other ones, but don't try to work within that budget to see what he's done. Depending on the cost of the price of oil, which really going to be this year. Mm -hmm. And then moving on to page five, again, it's just like I stated, it's all within the road use tax dollars. It's just broken down based on street cleaning and snow removal. The street cleaning portion of it is just, just that. We have a couple of 
contractual services, um, we still have on our street cleaner, we did a lease agreement with that. So that's our annual payment for that. And then um, the capital equipment that uh, we budgeted for here is for a snowplow. Mm -hmm. Is that the 10 5? Mm -hmm. Yep. And that's the plow that goes with the truck. That's yeah, it won't, it won't work on the other truck. It's too heavy. <clears throat> So then that's all for the road use. Jose, Jose said the holiday, he had another thing scheduled. Okay. Thank you for reaching out to him. So then on page seven, it gives me our bottom line for our total expenses would be 619,300. And granted, I know we're looking at our revenue coming in is going to be 400 and some thousand, but we've had additional revenue come in in the past. So we have revenue setting in our road use money um, that will cover any additional costs. But again, we just have to manage it as we're going through the year um, and see where we're at with our, with our road use dollars. The thing of it is, is that if we don't, is, as a city, if you don't show that you're using that road use tax money, then, you know, that they're going to say, oh, well, you're not doing that. So that could affect how many dollars you're getting. So we definitely want to show the need of purchasing equipment and doing the work and the staffing. So, and then the, the difference, if I understand this correctly, say you're getting what you are conservatively mm -hmm. um, planning on, but yep. um, we get that out of us, then the remainder of the difference, do we just amend the budget because we can't afford it, or do we take it out of what is there a carryover from road use? From yep, okay, that's just it. You so with road use tax and your local option sales tax and the special funds, they carry a cash balance. Okay. So whatever you don't use stays in that cash balance and you can, that's what you can use um, because the idea is that, you know, if you do have it left over, then you reserve it for future work. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, if, you, if you're not using it and, and you're just building it up, then you give an opportunity to the state to say, what are you doing with the roads? Yeah. Building yeah. it up, but you're playing. You don't need that. that. Much or so, I'll take it away. <laughs> Do they take it away? Or like, penalize people? No. Not, not, the, not the leftover, but they'll give you less the next year. I think you could potentially be in a position. I mean, I've never heard of it happening, but that's one thing. For the Department of Transportation. <laughs> yeah, that's the, the Department of Transportation, you know, when I go out to their meetings, that's what they're saying. You know, if you're not showing the use of every dollar of your road use, um, then they're going to say, oh, well, we're going to lower the yeah. per capita percentage because everybody's not really using that money. And I've never seen that be the case. Does that so, change every year or per administration? It, yeah, that it per can capita? change every year. Yeah. So, I mean, a lot of that's based upon your um, sale of fuel mm -hmm. in the state. Uh, yeah, that that is, that. No. So but they'll, but they'll have projections. <laughs> and they typically look out three to four years. And that, but you, you you may get a set of numbers like this year for, for the next couple of years and the next year you may have like they may say oh in the following year you're going to get 270 well it may come in okay. next year it could be 268 it could be they could say it'd be 270 because it, it's just constant clutch right now mm -hmm. kind of monitoring that oh, I see. Okay. but yeah. they but they try to you know give us the best estimate that they've got of what we're going to get and usually i mean at least in my past it's really bad with you know, <clears throat> Pretty close, you know. I'm looking to get you. Yeah, they're saying um, so they give you like a five year, and so for fiscal year 2023, they're saying if they're basing it to 126.50 or 50 cents, and then you know, next year 127. So it basically goes up at almost a dollar every year, but again, it's no, I mean, next year they're going to come out with another report and they're going to say, nope, it's going to be this for the next, you know, just depends on just like as Dave is saying, 
how much we're traveling, how much people are spending in fuel, and you know, what's the impact on taxes? Less. So this last year, they said um, they were surprised at the state. They were surprised because they anticipated that we'd see a, a huge reduction in road use tax, but quite the opposite. I think it's like almost five percent increase. So it really shocks, you know, the state level thinking because they thought traveling and all of that would really be, you know, sure. impact and then we'd be looking at less road yeah. tax money, road mm -hmm. use tax money, and it was the opposite. It was up by five percent. So that makes sense. <laughs> Unless they go a year, unless they're gauging it, and, you know, your prior did not caught up, like they're not. Estimation of current year, you know. So for them, it would have been during COVID, keep it COVID, and that's when they come out with their report this fall. That would have, it should have impacted it to show lower, but it didn't. So the only thing I think that I understood just listening to the discussion back and forth is that, yeah, it may have dropped off, but when we opened the doors, then everybody went. And so it, a lot of public transportation was closed down too, so mm -hmm. people had to use their own cars True. in bigger mm -hmm. cities and stuff. So, yeah. But I don't know, Diane, your years of doing the road use, I mean, I've really not seen it fluctuate terribly much. It, mm -hmm. It's pretty much a steady grade. Yeah. And looking back through, like, Back in 2012, when I first came on, it stayed pretty average of that, like 480. So last year was probably the largest that I had seen it. The last couple of years was the larger part that I'd seen it with that extra additional. So the next um, section um, we have is that's a little more reduced. Then you skip over the special revenue fund because you don't have any activity in that. That was used for FEMA funds. Yeah. Money. And then you're going to get to one, two, one, which is local option sales tax. So local option sales tax, again, it's estimated higher. Um, and this all started going up one, the pandemic <laughs> more but when the state passed that um internet internet sales i bet it it, yeah. it, 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 it increased our revenue by about one hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. yeah because yeah mm -hmm. yeah exactly yep so that was when the government started paying making internet sales pay local taxes yes right mm -hmm. okay. So, and then what happens with that, we talked about this before, it gets split. Um, if you look at page, uh, page four, um, that's just the percentage of the, of the breakdown. So a third, a third, a third. So we have a third that goes to general fund, a third that goes to the street fund or capital projects fund. And then you have a third that's split between the parks and the library. The third that's going into the general fund, then it'll get divided out because we have an equipment revolving plan. So that's where we'll have 25,000. That'll go, we talked about this last time, that's where we'll have that 25,000 go to the PD for their Yes. And then our um, other portion of that, um, we had talked about moving to get the whatever maybe we have left or whatever we can work with. And, and if we have an additional amount, we want to move it to the pool project to get that pool taken care of without having to, to do debt on it if we don't have to. So then the TIF portion is 125. So the TIF, um, so Diane and Kara, they, when they were here in December, what we have to do is and we have to levy those uh, tax dollars with the county. 
So it's a portion off of property taxes that we we're allocating and asking to take care of uh, development rebates to also fund some wages and staffing at the city. And it's, it also includes the we lead dollars um, that we pay for our contribution for development. And then the $100,000 that we do for the grant um, for economic development. So um, the other part of it is, is we have two general obligation bonds um, for road projects. And that is um, also 100% tipped through them. So that is the total revenue that we requested from the county to pull off of property tax portion uh, for those items. So you have the revenue come in and then you have the expenditure go out. So in my tip, in our budget and on our worksheets here, this amount is the exact amount that we're supposed to do for rebate. But if you remember when we went through budget, what I put on the state budget is the revenue that we're, or the expenditure that we're gonna pay out. Because we have an overpayment, I think it was about $6,000. But what I wanted on our worksheet was what the actual rebate dollars were, and then I'll break it down to make it so it's the actual amount. And the reason why is because our paperwork versus our state budget, I want our state budget to balance with the urban renewal. So, and that's kind of what Taylor, we had kind of talked about. And so I have to work with Taylor on those reports. Um, so what I have budgeted here is what the actual amount of TIF rebate is supposed to be. That was requested by DPOC, but it's not what he's gonna get paid out. Okay. And we'll get to that because that will be um, when we make that transaction, um, I will have amended the annual uh, contribution to be what the dollars are. And that's, again, what Taylor talked about that we'd be working through. So the state figures is what's right here. The um, county figure of what we apply. What you're gonna send. Or yes, because we want to collect the money that's owed to us. Yeah. So we wanna collect the 100% of the rebate that's applied for. And so that will go into our TIF revenue but I'm going to only expense what's due. So then that way we're, we're getting the money back that we overpaid. Okay. That makes sense? Yeah. So the next portion is, um, again, it's a null account. Um, it was a, a Dutton Complex Trusting Agency was put together when they did the project. So, and even though it's inactive, it still shows up on our reports. Which page are you on? I'm on, it says 130 Dutton TNA. <coughs> and it's not kind of TNA. I don't know what y'all are going to stop it. <laughs> You're the only one who can tell. Oh, no, I was the only one who can tell. I was thinking that. Great mind scene. Did you rest the time, Jordan? Yeah. No. Okay, and so then the next section, we had already talked about this. So this is the fire trust and agency. 131 is where donations go, memorial donations. Any type of donations that the department instructs us when they receive and when they instruct us or if we get anything that states fire donation or memorial fund, all of those dollars go into the trust and agency. I, I put a $2,000 figure up there is what we're estimating for revenue, but I, I don't, I, you just don't know. Um, and then it was my understanding that from the trust and agency, they, they're they gonna continue to fundraise for the gator and the gear, but we had to balance out the revenue and expenditure. So we put it in the trust and agency because the communication was it would be the bequest money from Marilyn Irie that they, if they don't raise enough dollars that they would be using to purchase those items. Um, and they're using the donations from that. Uh, yep, for one more. Yep. yep. So from this, they only had $500 last fiscal year. 
The, no, that's a budget amount. It's not uh, what the actual was because what I'm doing is the, the budget presentation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see it now. Yeah. Yeah. So then um, the library trust is 134. And I'm not gonna, I mean, that's the that's the budget area where again that's their trust and agency. Um, that's where donation dollars go into or requests go into, and that's where we move money for. For example, they're going to be using money for their building upgrade, um, for any equipment. Uh, additional purchases come from the trust and agency. So I want to, unless you have any other questions, um, I'm going to skip over to the. The 200 is called debt service. It's the 200 and a debt service. It has zeros. Yep. And the reason why it has zeros is because we already have debt in that fund, and so we're not levying any dollars for taxes. We were going to pay it out of the balance that's already there. So we have a um, an expense when you get down to page. Um, oh. So we have an expense on that of a hundred and. I don't know why it's not showing there. It's on my form because I had to build it in on our budget. So it's um I think it's a hundred and around 140,000. But that bond is I'll have to get that number. What that bond is is that is the library and that is the phase one of City Hall that we refinance for for a lower rate which was really good because we were able to get a lower rate. We didn't have to extend the term um, and our payments reduced too. So, um, so that is debt service is where we pay basically our loan payments. That's the purpose of debt. And then the other portion is the, just like I talked about the general obligation, um, the streets loans that are coming from property tax dollars. Um, Again, we're not levying property because we levy the tip dollars. We have a hundred percent tip that's covering those. Any questions on that? But basically, those are our bond payments. That's what's due. Like on page 11, is it what? Yeah. Yep, 11 and 12. And so on page 12 of debt service, that total amount there is the debt that we're paying from. It'll, it's the total debt being paid. 208 or 499? 499, 499 225. That next page, so what you were talking about, 137, 400. No, that's just that 137, 400 is, is the general obligation that we have. It's on my Iowa budget form, but let's look and see. So it really should be 499, 225 plus that. So I'll come back in. Because I'll have your, um, when we get together on Monday, I'll have the actual Iowa budget for the time for, and you'll see how these numbers will tie into those. These are detailed versus the condensed. Because we don't turn in a detail form. We have to follow the Iowa format for their budget. So, which I'm sure if you, with the university or 
even at the county, as you had to do the same type of formats based on the Iowa forms. Yep. Um, the 300 is the street improvement fund. And again, that's where the local option sales tax dollars will go in as revenue. That's 180,000 that adds to the, and again, it's reflected as a, a carryover or cash balance. Um, but we have, what I did in here is I put the 1.8 million um, because at the time when I was building this, that we, you know, we're looking at Rainbow and Maxon. Um, yeah. So, um, and then I put in our Iowa budget, you'll see when we get that, um, it has that we're going to be, we'll have to debt. We'll have to call for debt on that. And that, I'm not going to get too thick into that because. That'll be something we'll be discussing with our financial advisor when we get to that point. But we have to borrow money because we don't have like twenty million dollars to do the project. Wasn't that estimate like kind of be well looked at about how they're like stopping? Most likely, we'll have to. And the thing well, is, what's going to happen well, is what will happen is if, if we don't even start till spring, mm -hmm. you'll have a very small portion that come out of this budget to enjoy it. And that's what happened with, if you remember, that's kind of what happened with the phase one project mm -hmm. at the um, city hall. We had, um, it didn't get done at the time it was supposed to, so we had a split between those expenditures over two budget. The other thing that we, we would typically look in here too is, um, so with additional revenues, then Adam can pull from that to do more upgrades to his streets um, because, or curb and gutter type things. Um, they're ADA corners. So um, if they don't have enough coming in, so for example, if we do end up falling short in road use, then we can actually take from the capital improvement because that third local option sales tax is designated for street upgrade. So, and then if we do a capital project, like, and we didn't put phase two in for City Hall because we really haven't got any, we, we haven't talked about numbers or we haven't looked at that, but those are projects that you would put under your capital project too. Um, but the local option sales tax dollars going in there is really supposed to be dedicated to street improvement. So I'm going to skip forward because the rest of the items that are there, again, they're, they're, they're funds that are inactive, but they still plan on money. And so we should be up to water, 600. We need to break the water to go. So page three, um, or I'm sorry. So page one, and we're looking at water utility fund. So the first page you're looking at there is estimated revenue. So, and again, I'm estimating that based on our um, history of consumption, um, based on our utility um, count and, um, and where we should be. Um, the reason why in 21, 22, it ran low because um, 20, 21, 22, we were still, we had, we had a difference in our water rates that were not correct. So it ran our revenue low. Mm -hmm. So it was running right, and it's, it's kind of hard to explain, but that is what Taylor talked about when we had our, um, he did the special, yeah, uh, whatever, mm -hmm. investigation. Mm -hmm. um, so now, now does this now I know I hate to digress, but it, does this also include 
potential or do we need to look at potential rate increases for utilities? I mean, because I know weren't we gonna stair step like this is just I don't know, what are we gonna do like a uh, half percentage each year? We've got the rates that just came in from the solid way, so I'm gonna need to okay. get with you and Diana because we've got three different scenarios. And mm -hmm. I think there's really only one to choose from. I would rather I would much rather if I were to choose that once than for a couple of years in a row. So I mean, that's just me personally, but that's something that we can talk about. But I, I don't think we built that in yet. I did not. You did not. Okay. Because yeah. we have had, had that discussion of what we're going to do. Okay. Okay. And the thing is, is that our budget is going to reflect the need for the increase. Yeah, because okay. our expenditures are going to exceed our revenue by about right. 200,000, which we are sitting at. Um, we've been maintaining, Adam has been doing a really good job. He's been maintaining at the end of the year, um, around 300,000, which, if you remember, that's what they had explained that we want to try to keep there. But this year it'll deplete, it, it'll most likely deplete that because he has equipment that he has to have. Mm -hmm. And we didn't reserve for that equipment, so we're gonna pull from the flow of cash base because we don't have it reserved. And then didn't we have unexpected expenses with these tree removals too? And that doesn't back quite a bit. That's different. Yeah, that's that's solid different. waste would be his, the garbage trucks, the dumpsters, oh, okay. the you know that it's also um and Diane had come in and asked this question. Um, so our recycle, so when we started doing that, and we'll get to that when we get to 670, but okay. um, we'll talk about the recycle program. And so, okay. okay. So with that, um, that's what we're estimating for revenue. Um, and then you get into um, what you're gonna see here on page three. So you have, you have the 805 department, which is utility collection. So that's the administrative office. That's right. where you at on page oh, well, 805 department. Yeah, page three. Yes, yes. <laughs> and you know, they, so it says 600. So what the 600 does is that stands for water department. That's okay. the water. The six stands for an expenditure. And then the 805, it, it stands, it, look, I can't talk anymore tonight. Utility collection billing. So that's your administrative staff okay. at City Hall. So when we're talking about these wages here, you're talking about Sherry, me, and um, the city manager and the rest of the staff because it is 15% of their wages that are being, that are budgeted from here. And then the staff at the department as well? well that's another section. Okay. Yep. And then, um, for us, I'm not budgeting, I mean, anything outside of just the regular operations. Sorry, can you say that one more time? So the 805 is water and then the other number? The 600 for, so the state of Iowa has chart of accounts. Mm -hmm. And so the 600 represents a water fund, okay? The 805, um, it represents the um, city administration. So yeah. The folks that do the billing, okay. that's what it represents. Gotcha. The six, that's the expense. It's telling you, let me back what up. What type of expense it is? Just that the, it's an expense. When oh. you see, when we start on the first page of water, it says 604. Mm -hmm. The four stands for revenue. Gotcha. The six always stands for expenditure and land. So right after the 600. Yep. Okay. Yeah. And then it's listed on the Page actually, yeah. and then the last four digit is the function. Yep. So, and you, and I don't know if you went over that yet, at Emily or not, but you, they will. No, but I used to. Get so we used to have similar, and um, they still live at the university. Mm -hmm. I it would be where I memorize them all. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's pretty sad. Yeah. <laughs> no, nope, it's not that I'm going to do that for you. You see a lot. Yeah. Now, but, see a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so again, I'm not. I mean, we're not asking for anything um, outside of. When you look down at the, I, I just will point out. I'm running the the six hundred six eight zero five two six four zero seven. The professional fees are running a little bit higher because that's what we we pay the attorney fees out of. We split it out of, again, it's 
Usually 15% of whatever the budget is. Under contractual service? Under professional. That could be engineer costs. It's engineer costs, attorney costs. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah. for that we're flying from. Yeah. Oh, oh, under contract yeah. service. Yeah. yeah, I missed it. And then um, I'm just going to keep going on page four under capital outlay. Um, I put $5,000 in there um, because, again, I, I, I have to take a look, but we're not going to purchase a $5,000 refrigerator. <laughs> um, but we are potentially looking at upgrading our financial software um, to do some more, um, some more stuff for us. So, I'm just building it in there for now. The Sherry wants her own refrigerator for her office. <laughs> she got so much space. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're gonna build a we're gonna build up the wall. It does it have a curing inside of it? That's <laughs> oh, we, well, when we get to the electric department, that's where we can afford the curing. <laughs> <laughs> Three of them. We just take it from the edge. <laughs> okay. Now you move into now you move into operations, and that's Danny. So as the water operator, he's eight one zero. That's where we're talking about Harry Udas with the public work staff, the uh, operations yeah. staff. That this is Danny, and this is um, Mac. Their wages are out of the water fund. Operations enterprise, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. departmental ex expenditures for wage full time, wage part time. Yep. Mm -hmm. Part time. Yep. And then just account for overtime. Yep. Okay. Because unfortunately, water means to break. <laughs> right. And so that's everybody in the department. Yep. In that. Show. It's not everybody's. It's just it's fifty percent of Danny's oh. wage, and it's a hundred percent of Mac House wage. Okay. Okay. Um, because they are, because Danny also manages the collect the <coughs> sewer sewer collection, collection, the street collection. Street. Uh oh. Okay. So, so, but we'll get to that next. So um, and again, I mean, really, what you're looking at here is. Just the operation costs and to operate. Um, again, I commend Danny. He's done a really good job with chemicals. Um, before we were spending probably three times the amount on chemical. Um, one, we upgraded the RO system, so that helped out on chemical. But at the same time, he's done a really good job of being a little more accurate and getting the chemical mixtures correct. And you can stop me if I'm wrong. But watching the budget, that's that's made a difference because uh, before it was really pulling down our, our water utility. Um, so he's done a good job of organizing that and getting some more efficiency there. So just remember that for your review. Make sure you know it in there. I see the city money. And he and in his capital reserves, he's he's preparing for a replacement with the RO, RO filter and oh. So because we have what is it every six six or seven yeah. yeah now within all of the departments do we account for depreciation is that uh, so the only reason why we would account for depreciation is if we were an accrual base and we we're a cash oh, base okay okay. Mm -hmm. okay so we don't, they don't the, and the accrual part comes up in the insurance coverage so. So we don't have to accrue it on our books because we're a cash basis. So we don't have to accrue depreciation. Okay. What we do though, <coughs> our insurance coverage is we depreciate the value of equipment and that's what, that's what determines the coverage in our insurance. Oh. What, what our staff did, if you remember, they did the ERP 
the equipment revolving the plan. And so they're using similar depreciation schedules okay. to know what the life expectancy is on the equipment. Just so, a plan for improvement or for to replace it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And that would be filter, that would be vehicles, that would be, you know, any of those larger capital, you know, improvement equipment pieces, I should say capital equipment pieces. That are going to run you ten thousand dollars or more. Okay. Hmm. Okay. And, then, and, then, and then if you look at Dave's capital equipment, uh, he's got in there uh, new pickup and there's some security. There's some security. Mm -hmm. um, stuff that we're looking to do down the plan. And then the hundred and five thousand capital improvements, uh, something that we'd like to do. It's going to really depend on if we have the time. Can we get put together as a job uh, exercise? What is it? The knowledge extension program. Basically, you you bring in a, an outside source and they help you set up a program. You have to buy a valve exerciser. Essentially, when we have main breaks, we have valves that work. Mm -hmm. So, this program is set up to find those valves, exercise your valves yearly, okay. and yeah. that keeps them working. Okay. And it finds your crop show. Fancy. Let's you replace I mean, that, that's really something you should be doing. And Every time you do it. Have that discussion. <laughs> okay. You should exercise your valves annually just to make sure the stuff is going to operate because there's nothing worse than 30 below and you have a big water main break. And nothing. Yeah, yeah, if you had valves at work, you could isolate it to a smaller than you can. So. Mm -hmm. Or even, even in 60 degree weather. Yeah. yeah. You have to shut off five blocks instead of one. Mm -hmm. What about hydrants? Is that also? Hydrants are something you just take care of on a daily basis. I didn't know if there was. Um, those, are, those are exercised twice a year. Okay. That, that's already done. Okay. Well, those get flushed and exercise them. They find out through the course of doing that if I have to replace them. So replacement is not something you just have to have in your budget, basically. Okay. And you're okay. building okay. ground maintenance, basically. What am I going to do to sign up to be exercised twice a year? Slowly, Sean. Twice a year sounds good to me. Your practice line, ease, eyes, nose, and you said vowels, not vowels. Yes. Yeah, I also. Yeah. 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 Unfortunately, when you start this program, you bring a lot of vowels, but you also oh. find a lot of good things. There's like 40 broken ones. But then you immediately you replace them, right? Yeah. Just it's probably it's, it's a process. process. Okay. But it identifies your problems. The first thing to do is find the spots in your town where you need valves so you can isolate spots of town. And then, because you got to go shut the water off to replace the valves too. Yeah. So you actually have valves behind those valves, or you spend twice as much doing line. I mean, they do have the technology to, to replace or put valves in line. But they cost twice as much. So you want to try to mitigate that. But. Every once in a while, you have to do a live one to try to avoid the wrong problems. That's usually in an emergency situation, isn't it? Like, I mean, absolutely. Sound replacement's not usually any sort of emergency. Oh, I didn't know whether the water may go up or something. See, when, you're, when your water main breaks, you just have to keep going until you get it shut off. You, if you have to go two blocks down to another valve, that's what you do. Okay. So that's the emergency situation. Well, the guy that had all the knowledge of all the broken valves went out the door and didn't tell anybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All that knowledge is still in his head. Don't worry, we're fine now. <laughs> <laughs> if he's fine, I thought that was Jim Barnett. Not George. Oh, George. Oh, George. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Jim was the one who was, he yeah. just did his thing. Master of all, you know. Thankfully, we've been blessed with a couple good, good years with less water breaks. Yeah. Hopefully, it maintains. You better knock on wood now. You just said it. <laughs> There's no such thing as black or bad. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. When they come, they come out. Yeah. Or five, six, seven, seven, eight. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Just roll with the punches. So, but again, I, I mean, we're gonna move over. I mean, the other thing we have there. Um, did you have anything else that you? No. 
for operation. Um, on page 10, and that is our, our bond payment. So we have a revenue bond for water, and we just refinanced this one last year, lowered the interest rate. Um, so that's a savings to our, and that was also um, in council, Brian and McFerrin, you can help me here. So we reduce the interest rate, and it's going to save the fund um, 70, about 70. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and that also helped, you know, kind of hold off that, that rate increase because we refinanced. But the thing of it is, is that we all know the cost to operate is it's going to be more than that. So, and that just will bring up a point when we get there is where our financial advisors have always stated that we need to have gradual utility increases versus yeah. a 20,000 or 20% 20 increase. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you're gonna, if you think it's bad now, wait until you put in a 12 or 18% increase in utilities and you've got a beehive coming at you from the community. Yeah. <laughs> And I and I'll say this: our our staff that we had, they they worked for a wage less than what they should have been paid. Um, the in order for our our utilities and even our public works for the longest time, um, we've got some very dedicated staff here because they worked for less than what they should have been working for. Um, I think, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but. No, um, right. Last <laughs> year, you know, last year, we, we did do evaluations and, and we exercised to bring up their wages to get them closer. Um, you know, again, rewarding them for the work that they've been doing, sustaining their staff. Um, but I mean, we still haven't went where we should with their wages. We still have, we still need to come up a little bit more with wages. And that was an improvement on the process too because yeah. that was recent that right. we passed that. Right. So that made it better, but we still don't have a lot of work to go. Some of our folks for 10 years hadn't seen any increase except for just cost of cost living. living. Yeah. And they've taken on more responsibilities and more duties. So so I mean and that is that's just loyalty you don't find every day. So and then on the debt too, doesn't that take off some years or no? Does that still keep that calendar? The same, but the, the amount of expenditure lower. It, I, I thought it took up some years, but it didn't. We okay. were able to, um, so we didn't we didn't change the term of it. But okay. the chances okay. are we are going to have it paid for before okay. um, than what our term would have been because we reduced the, yes. the interest rates. So, but they didn't change the final term rate. Okay. Because we most likely what it could do is put us in a position where we could pay the debt earlier. Yeah. And and yeah. But we leave the maturity date still in place. Okay. Yeah. Um, then into the sewer operations. So the percentage. So again, that's the sewer revenue is page one, six one zero is your revenue. Those are the estimated um, dollars. That we're this is tied to the water. So what the consumption coming into your home in the water is going to calculate what is the what goes out. So that's how you get the sewer revenue is from water consumption in because what comes in has to go out. Oh, six months ago, the eight months ago. Yeah. So 6104810. The um the charges for service there. Um so I'll just the residential hasn't really changed. Um what's gonna see or what we should see a difference in is the commercial. That is the bigger portion of that is West Liberty Foods. And because it hadn't been calculated correctly. Um, I'm basing this off of having the correct and based off of what their consumptions have um, they've been because they're backed up to there for a while. They even before COVID they had slowed down and now they're they're back up. So now when they start uh, any improvements or you know upgrades, 
Is there a possibility they could do that upgrades for like waste water too and take take that off out yeah. running it through? Well, we're uh, actually we're working with them right now on the digester problem. And part of the discussion right. is we're excited that the most likely place for it to be cited is going to be down in our facility. Okay. All right. And anything basically we're doing with the top of an upgrade maybe next year or so. Yeah. We're actually thinking about trying to build what's going to be foods for a portion of that. Whether that happens or not, I don't know. But um, the like green can have broken down is like yeah. they're responsible for like almost 70% of the right. upgrade. So he's responsible for 30. You know, whether that ever comes to tradition, I don't know. But, but in the future, I mean, I'm just nervous if they start doing all of these like zero, well, they're already trying to do what is it, zero carbon footprint, <clears throat> uh, going green and all of that, doing the biofuel and stuff. Right. That, does that eventually, are they going to just be weed off of? I don't think you'll ever see them weed off, but okay. I, you know, I, I actually, think it's, it's going to increase their loadings quite a bit, actually. Oh, okay. Because they're going to actually let this be done. Uh, the byproducts that we all fall, that type of stuff. Okay. So actually, it could almost double our loadings that we have to actually run through a screw press. Oh. Uh, we're over with it. So okay. Okay. Actually, we might have to build one of our process to treat it. So, treat it? Okay. Yeah. Oh. Get sewer, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we put it down there. We'll have to buy a fuel and everything else because we pretty much land a lot where we're at. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're going to actually build all of this so. okay. at the moment. Start building that special later. But you know, I heard in the field saying, you know, it's better to ask for forgiveness than yeah. back to fashion. Back for forgiveness than ask for permission. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for forgiveness than ask. Yeah. So um, then just moving on again, this. The expenditures that we're looking at here is your utility, your collection for utility billing. So those wages there are 30% of the administrative staff and the city manager. And then city hall costs. And again, just getting to the capital outlay, I just left some numbers in there for potential purchases of additional software or the other thought was if we are going to be looking at phase two of city hall um just leaving room for some engineer costs for that then into the 6106810 then again that's under that's under danny that it's 50 percent of his wages the other 50 percent of his wages and then it is um, Edgar Ortiz. That's under the page six. Page six, yeah. So those are their wages we're looking at. And really, so here's the thing: Mac, Mac, Eddie, and or Edgar. Well, sometimes Eddie. Um, but Edgar and Mac and Danny all are in the water sewer area. Um, they share those response, the, the both of them share the responsibility, but when it comes to budgeting, um, just again, it's it's not necessarily that Edgar is all sewer and, and Mac's all water. It's, it's just the budgeting to split the, the wages between the other companies. So, yeah, I was going to say, I mean, all of our staff, it's not just that. I mean, you know, so Danny, when you do your budget, you actually have two you have to do for water and, and storm sewer. Water and sewer collection. It's, yes. Are we having two separate? Or they're separate in the same. Yeah. I mean, I do, but they're separate. Okay. It's 600 and 610. Okay. So, like, when I'm for instance, itemizing something I have to put 610, I can put a sewer because they, but yeah, you, you put your expenditures under separate, depending on what you're spending. Okay. You so you're juggling between two, two budgets. Between yeah. That sense. Yeah. Yep. Yes. And so, storm water. Yeah. And another place, again, um, if, you, mm -hmm. if you remember, we talked about this last year. So he researched chemical. 
And so he maintenances the lift stations. Mm -hmm. And so, um, so he contracted with a different chemical that was better for it's our lift stations. And it's not it's so yeah. more natural. So it's mm -hmm. not a chemical driven. Yeah. It's um, more of a natural. Um, <laughs> yeah. So um, it's more of what like a treatment plant does. Mm -hmm. It's like a biological approach to it as opposed to. What we did before was the floating greasers, basically anything that could, any solids or bats or anything that could go down in your pumps mm -hmm. was an inadequate amount of floating degreaser. So then you have to go in and back that out. Oh. Now we, we administer a treatment monthly that actually eats those away. Good. So it all just transfers through the pumps and and then when it gets to crave, it's it's right. water. <laughs> it also treats the pipes on the way. Yeah. Oh, so do you ever have yeah. an instance in the city where the lines are gravity run versus a lift station? All of them. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. I, <laughs> there, I mean, there, there are like force meat stuff that we're talking about, but mm -hmm. a lot of the town is gravity fit. Yes. 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 So I mean, it all it all basically gravities to the lift lift stations, and then that uses its force and gravity to get to the waste pipeline. And you know, but I guess where I'm thinking is <laughs> where there's a point where you don't have to use the lift station. Like there is a point where it's solely that, and that there is no lift station involved. Is that or is that impossible? I mean, you have to you have to kind of picture it all as a of um, a unit functioning together. Okay. So you're using gravity and the stations to complete your job. Okay. Okay. Everyone's crap. <laughs> so that's all. We've got a link from the poor side of town, which gravity fed south, and then it gets flat to where it's flat back up, mm -hmm. and then it's gravity fed from there. The new Place so I don't know. Science lifts the it up and slows it down. Down, yeah. Okay. So it all works again. Okay. Okay. I just don't. So when I shit rolls up, you'll leave that problem. <laughs> <laughs> that means you're back up. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you for explaining that. I don't know how that works. Definitely. Yeah. Well, I can teach you how to play SimCity if you like. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty accurate. But it is uh, the most <laughs> accurate description of sewer is shingles down there. Yeah, it is. It is the most accurate. Yeah, yeah. I'm using it directly from our engineers because when we were looking at Dutton, mm -hmm. that was what they said. It, it won't go uphill for people, but you have to have. And the better way to have it is more gravity versus trying to engineer it to pump it to force it. Yes, well, you're spending money. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you can put a force on a rock shell and then get the gravity. But you need to get that out of there. Awesome. 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 Awesome.
So we're trying to maybe wear it better than that, hopefully. Yeah. We wore it last year and we saw yeah. it. Yeah. So supposedly it's completed and it's either ready for our trip or it's ready to ship. That's under I've been told two different things. That's under the equipment. The yeah. like capital yeah. outlay, yeah. And again, I mean, if we don't spend it, but I mean, sometimes I just, I don't know what what we said is it's just better to have it there um again I mean, it's gonna happen it's yeah, gonna happen we're gonna have to replace it when you have to do work on the lift stations is that like involved with like water meter spouts or is that is that something you have to put into your improvements um that would be just his maintenance from your maintenance yeah, mm -hmm. but it, it always it depends, depends on, on what. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you he has to replace the whole list station, I know the two hundred thousand I left in there because we we had um, we still haven't figured. I mean, we had some discussions out there about that. Yeah. 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 At the north. Yep. Yeah. And I left it in there just in case we, we had to move forward or, or not. Yeah. Or, or build a new. A a station. Station. Yeah, I'd be an added station. Right in the middle of the baseball. Oh, You've got the pictures now. Yeah. <laughs> Nick will love it. Well, that's where Leo said it would be ideal. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why not the playground? Right there. I don't know. Right. <laughs> and I think the other thing was his generators. We were still working on. For the list For the list issues. And that's what I like to talk about too. Yeah. Okay. Any questions? Are you okay. ever going to bring back the meters, the water meters again? Like we had years ago. The yard meters? Yeah, the yard meters. No, because the ones that we had used were old ones. Yeah, come off our old old system. Your right. antiquities. Yes, <laughs> and part of the problem was when they broke. You can't, or fix. You can't fix them. I didn't know if there was such a beast to get something that was up there. They may come down. They're or expensive. They too cost but Well, because <laughs> what we talked about. Depends on the first. I mean, you can put in a separate meter just for like irrigation purposes and those things. But it has to, but you have to plumb it. I think she's talking about for special events like the okay. uh, well, church every year does uh, a garden, which they, <laughs> which what, okay. what me and Sherry do, well, what we did last year was we took their average and subtracted that from the sewer. Okay. And that was basically, so we took their average and their raise, subtracted that. Um, or whatever. Yeah. And they just didn't so that's what they typically have done ever since they started here with the community garden. The first year they still had that irrigation meter and they brought it in, but then after that, it was okay. just the difference. I mean, we can get one, it's only a couple hundred bucks to get a nice actor one if okay. we wanted to do that. If... But what we talked about was charging the customers. Absolutely. I mean, whether or not the homeowner wants it or not, if they want it, they have that choice. What then they pay for. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, we had our big pool, it was an advantage to have that. Yeah. You know, because when we fill the pool, then right. we wouldn't have to pay for the sewer in them. Well, right. the best thing in that situation is just have the fire burn to do it. And now we have that in our utility building stuff that we fill the pool and we have the gallonage, we can do the like that yeah. Yeah. portion. Yeah, okay. It's yeah. so much easier that way. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. okay, got it. Okay. Then the other thing we've done is for our master gardeners who yeah. um, we recommend that they reach out to a plumber and they can have a have a, a meter installed to oh, track okay. it just like you were talking about. Yeah. And then again, we just have to verify that it's calibrated or that it yeah. Most people find it's not it's the it's not worth it. It's only worth it when you forget to turn your hose off, like Ed. It broke. <laughs> no, whatever. Uh, <laughs> it's just so that's what we usually have is 
folks, unfortunately, their their faucet breaks, faucet breaks, breaks yeah. or they forget to turn their hose off, and it mm -hmm. runs and runs and runs. And right, and this just so I know, and let me get this, it's because that water goes into the ground, not through our pipes. So right. you want to see mm -hmm. how much that you are putting into the ground instead of using the sewage system, right. so you can get refunded yep, for right. that amount. Okay. Because on our billing, our billing, the water consumption. The sewer consumption is based off of water. Yeah. So if you have 10,000 water, but 5,000 of it went into the pool, if we don't know that, then you're still charged with yeah. 10,000. But if you give us a heads up and let us know, then we can refund that. 5,000 for the pool. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's, it actually just happened last year. Is mm -hmm. that when we put yeah. that into place? Yeah. Last year, because before that, that was something that was done. Again, I mean, COVID, and we had our pool closed, and that pretty much up the percentage of people, homeowners, purchasing pools. Mm -hmm. And so, just like Sherry said, you really had to run across it before. And most people are really, you know, they, they want to work with the fire department to have them come out and fill the pool because um, that's a faster way of getting it done, but depending on the size of your pool. So, I didn't know if the, the fairgrounds did that. Because I would imagine they use a significant amount of water. They not the, they never brought anything up in um, that circumstance. Okay. Most of their stuff would be done just mm -hmm. as everybody else is in okay. okay. Because you know, a lot of that water goes in the ground. I think they have standpoints down there yeah. though. I think they have some like wells. Or water in the Yeah. 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 They they have something different. I would have to look at the billing portion of it. Um, I but it's it set up different. Yeah, I think the only thing that's weird is like the, the community sector. The community the the activities. Activities. That, uh, yeah, I think they have, I don't know if they have the old well systems that they use for like livestock and for uh, like wiring. I think they have their own like deep level there. Okay. Because I know they put in new restrooms and yeah. Yeah. Yes. Six, yep, but faucets. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Yeah, no, I would. I can look into it to see how it's actually set up. But yeah. I think there's like something different. I just don't remember. The same as the the house right before it right, used to be first friends. Right before you get into the cemetery, they had their own. For a while, they had their own septic and water well there too, and then they had they. Something had happened and then they had to connect to the service. Okay. But there's some of those houses out. There were some houses down there that still had their own well and their septic systems. But it was like if the septic went bad, then they had to connect into the sewer. Or if the house was sold. So if the house was sold. Yep. Okay. Yeah, because we had a situation like that with Mr. Klein's, Bob Klein's house had sold. Yes. Because they were getting they, water from the, the, tar, the, the tarp. Yeah, yeah, there was a bypass or an easement or yes, something. Yes, yes. But so as long as that, as long as the clients own the house, then they weren't built for water. Yeah. But what, what happened is, is when they sold it, then that that easement or that agreement went away. And so because the new owners were like, hey, we're not supposed to pay for water. <laughs> Uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Should have read it for Mr. Klein at the time. But, uh, so, those, I mean, there's still some of those old type of situations and out there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. The steward area is the The wastewater treatment. Um, so again, all of the sewer revenue coming in is uh, is what is um, is over the expenditures here. So we just have one sewer revenue that covers all of these functions. Okay. Okay. And so the wastewater treatment plant wages again. That's Craig, um, Ken, and Jerry. And um, one time we held out the budget or an additional, but I believe um, they've been able to maintain and, and do what they're doing down there with what they have. So, and again, and kudos to Craig. Craig runs a really tight budget. He, he watches his numbers and he calculates his percentages of increases and decreases. So, um, 
he's very meticulous and I appreciate that. Said it was what four hundred thousand over the previous yep. contract. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And he, you know, and as far as improvements <laughs> and things like that, he doesn't ask for it unless he knows they absolutely need it, or it's something that's going to be regulated by the DNR. So, not that any of them do, but I just want to make that clear. Every one of these folks that I have worked with. And, the, and since I came here in 2012, they've done a phenomenal job of not overspending or just spending money because it's there. Um, they're truly not asking. In fact, there's a lot of times, um, especially in Adam's department, that they've gone without just to make the, you know, just to appease management to make that budget look better. But, you know, he, he's went short staff teams, you know, so, and that's difficult when you've got a supervisor that's got administrative work that they're out working yeah. in the in the streets and things and they've got to do their administrative work too, so, and staying on top of certifications and things, so, but, you know, they all do a very, very good job. And that's when I said, when we look at our budget and where we're at today compared to 10 years ago, it's it's these folks here, you know, they're they're doing that financial work too. Can we can I okay? Sorry, yeah. Keep it going here. So um so with Craig, I mean all he has, um he's got some he's got a truck that's coming in. Um, and he needs a new mixer is his capital. And again, Craig doesn't ask for it much so. And I don't know, I don't know, but how do you get to spend that kind of money on a mixer and I can't spend five thousand on a fridge? <laughs> well, the that's one thing I'm fixable. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, your mixer makes money. Perfect for mud pies. You can't you can't get through this budget without talking about poop. I'm just saying I'm trying to you no. Know, because it happens, and that's really you make money. So I need to know $5,000 refrigerators. So oh, oh, God. Oh, they do. Honey. Especially if you want one of those. It's, you know, it'll talk to you, too. What is he? Yeah. Everyone that plays music. <laughs> Jeez. We can, we can put this on it. I'm, I'm the kids can draw on it. You just stay inside it when you're grocery shopping to see what's inside it. That is so cool. We got a 60 That's awesome. Did you have a little dangerous? I still have to think about it. No, it was on sale for like a certain amount, and then we got a certain amount of girls. Yeah, it's not for a lot of shit. Yep. Suck it. <laughs> we bought an entire kitchen all the time. Oh, hey. well, that's 65 years old. They work hard. They both work hard. They deserve a yeah, I'm too rich for Jennifer. I didn't. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. She's the boss, so. That's, that's what, what she was talking about. Right. <laughs> so, um, so I don't know if you have any other questions for Craig, um, but Then um, next up, we have electric. And in the electric on page one, there's your revenues. And we are, again, these are just estimating. And, and, I, and the reason why I say I'm, I can stay about the same because we haven't had a, an increase. But we have got, we should be getting close to the electric study. Yeah, I, they have all that information. He said if there's anything else you need to let me know that they're working on that right now. And I'm going to anticipate, I would be surprised if we have at least a 10% of these. Um, so and that's probably being too, that's probably too low. Yeah. 
<coughs> so the uh, page uh, page mm -hmm. one oh, page oh, two oh. of the electric utility fund mm -hmm. park mental expenditures is the top personal services is that city admin so city yeah. admin yeah and so it's fifty five percent of the so how it breaks down for our wages um so the city manager and myself and jacob and some of nick are five percent of the general fund okay so the the rest of the staff is broken down through the business the utility because that's the primary work that they're doing the yeah utility. okay And and again, that fifty five percent is the cost of the you know the software to do the building and the work and the work. Okay. And then under that, it's employee benefits. Is that just in benefits for the reflected above? Yes, staff only. Okay. okay. And then under the Building ground maintenance mm -hmm. looks like it's only fifteen thousand. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? So what? The building ground maintenance. Yeah. Is that all that? Or it's okay. high. I I put it out there a little higher okay. um, because we still have. Um, so one thing I I we have some possibly concrete work that we need to take a look at mm -hmm. for parking. Mm -hmm. And I haven't had time to talk to Dave about it, but so that section between the police department's garage and then where the American Legion garage is at, yeah. there's a small section in there that's just grass. Mm -hmm. And um, so I was going to look at getting an estimate to get it concrete. So that would allow okay. more of our staff in our, again, our utility folks then they got closer to the door that they can pull in but it may yeah but just not knowing when what the time frame is on things too because okay. technically we have staff that will pull over there and park if parking's hard and we shouldn't because we're not we don't allow our community members to park on the grass so we should be doing it yeah yeah well, and likewise our police department they're in a gravel parking and again, that's not within code because we're not supposed to have gravel parking. So there might be some concrete work that we have to look at. Well, the reason I brought that up because I thought that the building needed more work. And it's I, rough. And I but that and I know it's fifteen. The next, I didn't think oh oh I didn't think fifteen <laughs> was enough. Well, that's that's city hall. No. That's, that's city hall's budget. That's not. You're looking at the electric portion of the city hall. But that's oh, the city hall. I yeah. was thinking it was his. Yeah. Oh, no, no, you're looking I, at the 805 no. right now. Yeah. Yeah. 805. Yeah. It was administration. That, that yeah. administration portion of it. Yeah. 805. So it. Not operations. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's why I was confused. And then minus that little bit. Your building is great. Oh, yeah. No, uh, it's about 10. 10. Really? Yeah, for building for building grounds, I mean, it's, uh, honestly, it's it's uh, basically keeping the weeds down and that type of stuff, building the grounds. Unless something goes to hell, but I mean, the roof has to be done, but that's already, that's under something else. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, okay. Uh, okay. If that's what you're thinking. Yeah. Yeah, that's under something else. So, again, in the, in the utility, the, building side of it when you get to page four, the capital outlay. Um, I just left some numbers in there um, because again, Dave and I haven't had an opportunity um, for equipment reserve is just reserving towards future purchases of if we have software upgrade, server upgrade, um, the 20,000 for capital equipment. That again, it's just um i just have some equipment stuff that we need to go over that we didn't have an opportunity to go through um during the equipment um computers i think with nick we have everything updated with our computer equipment um and i leave our servers okay but i just set it there just in case 
we still have some IT and server issue things that have to be. And I think we also talked about security cameras is in there too. So, and then the capital improvement is just setting, you know, I didn't know what would phase two. And then um, before we move to the next one, can yeah, you tell me about how much more time you think we have? Because I, I basically, yeah. I have to give a presentation yeah. from like maybe 7.10 to 7.15 mm -hmm. to 7.30. That's it. That's all I have to do. Yeah. So I can step out if you think we're going to go longer than that. Maybe because I, I feel antsy. We're going to go antsy. Yeah. I didn't know if folks want to take okay. a break. Yeah, we're in. Or we're going to go to the Or well, no, we got yeah. solid waste. Solid waste. Oh, well, then do you want to take a break? And then or do you just keep moving? Yeah, yes. I just yeah, I really want to keep moving and see if, if you see me pop out, I will pop back. Just yeah. So, yeah. so the question would take long. Yeah. Oh. We can be done in 12 minutes. All right, let's do it. So Ed's is next. And sorry to interrupt me. No, you're okay. Yeah, you just wasted 10 minutes. I did not. They're a tough crowd. Oh <laughs> um Again, this is the operations. So this is Ed and um, Damien and John and Ryan. Ryan. Mm -hmm. and one more. We haven't got them yet. No. So if they have, he wants additional staff. Yeah. But I didn't build that in. That's not in this budget. You did. So we have to amend it. Mm -hmm. It's not in the 309. Mm -hmm. No. Nope. Nope, that's just. Mm -hmm. So, you're saying. And again, I mean, I know they're doing the race study based on that amount of employees. So, but I'm, without having the race study and knowing what our revenue is going to be. Because yeah. they are processing everything that was sent to them. I'm gonna let you guys talk. Because you two need to talk on that. That's not you do. Well, well, it was approved last year. But I don't have it in this year. That's right. Okay. Because I need the two of you to talk about that. Okay. Because I didn't send it on your budget meeting, so. Um, again, benefit costs, um, then get down into the repair maintenance and utilities. Again, I could talk to this, but he's got, I don't know what, what you guys have discussed, but the, the funding he has in here is tree removal, tree churning, you know, that's the maintenance that has to be done. And, and then he stayed pretty, pretty close to that number with the contractor that we work with. And I'll just let Dave take over from there because we can kind of talk a little bit more. Because I pulled the numbers that we had on. Well, I, think we, I think we doubled money on like doing line mm -hmm. work and pull changes from mm -hmm. Yeah, I was your point of having the extra um, one more employee. So we're reminding on our jet. We, we bumped the generator repairs and maintenance quite a bit. Well, the generator repairs and maintenance used to sit at $100,000. And over the course of uh, intrinsic managers, it got trimmed down to basically almost nothing compared to what it used to be. If we have anything go wrong with them, bring anybody in to work on it, it's, it's, it's a ton of money to get them to come in. And so without the budget line item there, Basically, anything that we're going to have to have done, we're going to have to bring back and have them in that budget to get it done. So get it done anyways. Instead of just getting it done and paying for it. Mm -hmm. Okay. We showed more of a true cost on these operating supplies in events in previous years, um, like on the capital equipment, uh, looking at new treasure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And a little bit of all uh, the security cameras. And you had a question on the contract services. That was um, see the solar. Yeah. Yeah, solar. Mm -hmm. Solar, we have a contract with them. They come in and they do uh, <coughs> uh, the spring and the fall PM. Yeah, the turbine. Yeah. Solar so. turbine. Mm -hmm. 
So there were just a couple of things that Ben wanted to get up. And I, I think we've changed something on the street lighting of the poles. You you were going to code things differently, and I thought we'd change those as well. Well, yeah, because we were pulling, uh, we, well, we did that. We started doing that last year. We added a street light right. uh, number in there because we were pulling that out of uh, system improvement and really shouldn't even come out of its own. Right. Uh, for the world instead of coming out of that. Which is why we bumped up the street light. Which is why that got bumped up because that's where it's supposed to be coming out of instead of where it was. So that's why that's the way that it is. Uh, what line item is that under the street light? It, it, it's it's back. back. It would have been before. Oh. It's on page five. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now, that's only going to be there for like maybe another year or maybe a year and a half. And then it'll be gone because once our street lights, we've got them all up here. We don't need to do it for a while. We won't. We won't. Do it for a while. So that might have to go back down. And again, we don't have, I mean, all in, I mean, just being honest, we'll like just a few um, budget amendments. Um, we just had so many disruptions trying to get this put together. Um, so I was, I was honestly rushed. And so I know that there's going to be some amendments. So. Do you have any other questions for Ed? The engineering under contractual services is, mm -hmm. is that yeah. BHMG? BHMG. And does that make, is there anything that needs to be in that line? It was zero. I didn't know if that was something that. Uh, that most of the time, they're called stuff all the years, professionals. Professionals. Oh, okay. So that would be, uh, I, I suppose, if they were going to, maybe if they were going to come in and do like a, maybe an engineering study or a, maybe like a, uh, uh, a generation study to move forward with uh, the installation of more generation and what that's going to take. The problem would fall under that. Okay. And we also have our compliance reporting that they um, that would just like would be strength him. So we have um, with the HMG, they handle some of our compliance reports. And yeah, I have a utility board and our state compliance. Okay. So they assist with some of the administrative work with that as well. Okay. Okay. So then the the one on page eight where it says contractual services, what is that actually for? I mean, do we need that in there? I don't know. We haven't really influenced each yet. Above capital outlay, I, I, we have the top one that says we have we have spent. There's there has been any money spent out of that line out of this year, okay. and there's only fifty five dollars attributed two years ago. So I didn't know if that was something that needed to be like really yeah. 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 I'm gonna pop out. I'll be back in okay. maybe 30 minutes. Oh, that because that was so that area is for when we do the large, like for example, the switch gear project. Oh, okay. So the okay. 820 is geared towards a large capital project. Oh and that okay. would be okay. our million dollar right. cost Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All and right. that was something that probably just carried over from an oh. engineer cost. Mm -hmm. For that project. All right. Got it. Yeah, 820 stands for um, the enterprise. Those are the large project improvements. Okay. And then the 830 code under there, that's your bonds. So then we end up your expenditures total page. And then we're on to solid waste. And solid waste is also managed in some of Adam's wages come out of uh, just a small percentage um, because 
we wanted to make sure we had a little more to pay um, for additional staffing for the solid waste department. And so that is going to be Adam. If I can remember everybody. Dylan, Brayton, Justin. Justin, Brayton, Dylan. 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 So, so that's just department staff. Mm -hmm. But they all, yeah, yeah. but Eddie works through, I mean, he does the courage as well. But yeah. And what about, sure. does that have any reflection of the admin staff? The what? Yeah. No, no, no. no. It does not. Because solid waste just isn't a large enough revenue in order to use a percentage. Okay. It, it's we're, you're, we're required to remove the garbage from our community. Mm -hmm. The problem is, is it's really difficult to, to charge the money it takes to actually operate that. Yeah. It, and that's what we're up against now. I mean, the the equipment, the garbage truck costs, the staffing costs, the dumpsters, all of those. I mean, they're very, very expensive items, but most folks don't understand, you know, they're not, they don't, you know, they think if they pay $22, it's outrageous. Mm -hmm. But $22 for each household doesn't cover what it costs to get that garbage from, because then you have your tipping fees, you have your transportation fees, your transportation costs. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it is the, it's like having the pool <laughs> and business activity. It is just, why don't we just dump it all in the pool? Yeah. Yeah. It's just really uh, difficult. It just is a really, really expensive. Uh, but we should that we have to yeah. pay for those expenses and then the rates are going to happen. <coughs> okay. So yeah. getting into it, our revenues are not reflecting what some recommended changes. No. They're recommending what's currently there. We got all the expenses, we just don't have all the yeah. rates. In so our revenue, we're based on what we've seen, it's at 515000 And moving over to the expenditures, and again, I'll commend Adam because he runs a lean budget. He, he watches it as close as he can, but you know, those garbage trucks are expensive to keep running and keep fixed. Um, it's really difficult for him to control um, the, the fees that it takes to go to the landfill because if folks are not recycling, then yeah. there's more weight going to the landfill that increases our cost. Also, when we took on the recycling program at that time, if you remember, and Adam and Diane can explain this probably a little bit better than I can, but there was a market for recycle. Very low. Very low. And as soon as we pulled the trigger and went to the curbside recycling, then there was none. It tanked. It tanked. So now. Probably we were having to pay for recycling. Mm -hmm. and get it that so now they were, because so, we had an agreement with Scott County, is that right? We were taking it. They down. actually took on six months of our debt mm -hmm. to wait for the market to come back up. And mm -hmm. we had to start paying for it. Yeah. So now it's. We're getting about 1500 a month yeah. or something. Yeah. It's, so we're starting to get. Since. Is it fast in a little September, bit? September, I think. Yeah. Since September. August, it's September. A little bit back on it. But you have to understand, though, I mean, we, you know, it was appreciative that they took on the debt and then we started having to pay. But when we originally took on the program, it was anticipated that we would have revenue to cover the cost of taking the curve. So, and then we didn't do anything to look at raising rates to stay with the cost mm -hmm. or reserving for another garbage truck at the time. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it just, it didn't help our situation. Stay stagnant. Now, the one thing I didn't put in this budget this year, because I think I have one more year left on the solid waste needed to repay the utilities. Mm -hmm. um, and I thought we had talked about, and I'll have to go back and look at my notes, but I thought we had talked about just saying, because if I put that in there, you know, then that's going to drive down our revenue even worse. Because by the time we get through our expenditures, and these are things that Adam has, it's the things that the department has to have. We're at 757,000, or no, 844,000. 
And we're only bringing in 515,000 in revenue. Yeah. That's... But we have to have those trucks. There's not a, it's not a question of wanting them, we need them. Those trucks are about half of that cost. And, and the problem is, you know, Adam, with his repairs on these trucks, he's, you know, the heavy bought new trucks. So the rear load, that's, you know, mm -hmm. right instead right. of buying a huge rear load, we really need to buy a brand new one. The last one. He spent more money on repairs than he probably could have had a new truck. Had we, you know, not had to put money into repairs. So it, it, it's just time to bite the bullet. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and, then, and, and, it, and it was down again this week or last? Uh, it was in it was in the shop again. It's still running, but it's not right. They couldn't get it to do what it was doing on those, but it was gonna keep an eye out. Yeah, it's motor issues. So, yeah, and so when I'm recommending that we you know look at a resolution to to finalize that debt between that internal loan, we're only talking for this year, we're only talking thirty thousand dollars, but that's thirty thousand dollars that the solid waste can't afford. To pay where the other utilities are setting in a decent position, they're in a better position to forego that um, than the solid waste is to pay it. Um, but I'll, I'll work with our financial advisor to put that information together so that council can actually see what we're saying we're going to forgive, or if we want to say we're not going to forgive it, but we're going to allow right. those rates to, we'll delay it and we'll allow those rates to catch back and, and see what it looks like from there. So I think uh, in the course of like July 1 or something, by July 1, don't we need to factor in new rates so that they well, take effect? My hope is that you're going to be effective before July 1. Before. No, I'd, I'd like to do it by June, possible, but, but we need to have that discussion and then okay. take it to the full council and have a vote on it. So the only other one we have is stormwater, and stormwater is a new utility. Um, and I have, I we have to do some work on it because the ordinance wording does not match our utility bill. It's not in here. Oh, oh it okay. is going to be on the state budget for revenue. And I just took a guesstimate about what the revenue looks like, but there are some things that we we push that. Not council, but that ordinance got pushed so fast that there is information in there that is not in line with what our bill is. Okay. We also, there was not made clear of who is going to do the calculations for the EDR, EDR use. Because, yeah, because there was nothing discussed or agreed upon with our engineers, because somebody has to go and calculate to figure out what their stormwater cost is going to be. <laughs> okay. And in most communities, it's always your engineer. Well, yeah, wait a minute here. Well, he did it during the study. Yeah. But then he, well, but nothing was ever decided yeah. about how or when or what. If it was on a ticket, but it would be stuff like that. Right. And but I know we had picked the number that was an average or a median. Not for the commercial. Not for the commercial. Not for, 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 for the for your residential. Residential will have a flat rate. Not the commercial. Not the commercial. Not the commercial. So we have the wedding of the work. We don't know what those measurements are. What did he what did he did he give an indication for commercial at all? He just gave an estimate. Mm -hmm. But not for the that study or whatever they just put together the presentation. He hadn't physically went down and did the work of it. He just did a estimate of it based on the area. I don't think I'm not paying that. What? Be a lot of money. Oh, I'm going to keep this close. 